Fish tank's got water in it, sand, a rock, now we just need some fish in it. Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're doing a giveaway again. We're gonna give away three apparel packs, a performance shirt, a cotton shirt, and a hat or a visor, whatever you guys want. All you gotta do is sign up on our email list. I'll put a link in the video description. It's uh, stansfishing.com slash giveaway. Super simple and easy. Takes less than a minute. Anyhow, this video is a little bit different. It covers a lot of days in the water the last month. And uh, we're gonna start out showing you one day. We run into a Cuban raft, so check this out. Well, I got a, I got a Cuban raft in my sights here, guys. We pull them back, it looks like there's a... Yeah, I don't see any... Cuban raft, it looks like, you guys. We're gonna check it out and see. We called it right on there. Could be people on it, we don't know yet. It's about half a mile away in the sun up here. But there's a raft up there. And about two weeks ago as well, we saw a raft out here with no people on it. The Coast Guard found previously. So we're gonna check this one out and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. 757 feet of water. There is any money on the See if we got any mai mai on this thing. Yeah. So they're literally building that raft. They try to come across the ocean here and looking for a better life. Yep, John spotted that thing and there it is. So nobody's there. We see these almost every year. This is the second one I've seen in 10 days. And there's a little rudder there. They engineer these things to try to come across the ocean. Definitely a lot of them don't make it and some do. A lot of them get picked up too. Sometimes there's hundreds of miles around these rafts like this and triple tails and wahoos. Just some little jacks here today though. Oh, fun, David! What's it look like? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch that stuff. Look at that. Oh, look at this thing. Foam blocks on the sides, flotation in the middle, wood. The spray paint's Coast Guard probably, huh? Yeah. Oh, it says on the sail, it says okay there, yeah. So the Coast Guard did find that it says okay on the sail there. So these are wooden paddles that they had, I mean, literally trying to paddle across the ocean to get to America, and those are the paddles they have. Hopefully they're safe. So it's windy, we're heading out sword fishing you guys, and I think you can see that over there, but there's actually a Cuban raft over there. Looks like the sail blew over. The Coast Guard found him because it says okay on it, so. Sometimes Mahi will be around it or Wahoo, triple tail, so we're gonna see if anything's here. But kind of crazy, I mean, people come across the ocean and that trying to make it here for freedom. Barrels for their flotation, a frame, they had a sail, but Coast Guard picked them up, it says okay on there, so that means the Coast Guard found them, but uh, some water, you can see water jugs in there and stuff like that. Tightness is upon us. Woohoo! Could be the one. Out here doing some sword fishing today. A lot of wind coming in a couple of days, but today's the nicest day of the week. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get out to fish, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday looks like 20 to 25 knots, so probably won't be sword fishing, but Ryan's tight right now. We'll see what happens. 1660 right now, 1662. And um, mid-April here, and 
Kevin's here from Dodge Ocean there. I mean, he might jump in if he stays on there, get some underwater pictures, and a little bit of luck will catch this fish. No bites at first drop. Fishing's been a little on and off lately. Um, Mike went offshore the other day, no bites, but yesterday he's on the reef. They got some really nice mutton snappers and some jacks, other stuff like that. But uh, we want a sword for today, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, you guys are along for the ride. Beautiful day here up the Florida Keys. Harpoons ready just in case. Also got the tag stick ready right here. And that tag there has a number on it. This fish, if we wind up releasing it, letting it go, someone recaptures it one day, you know, they'll know that we caught it first, you know, how big it was estimated. Shaking around them now, hopefully it sticks on there. No telling how this fish is hooked, you know, it could be hooked good, it could be foul hooked, you know, I just don't know. Yeah, he's angling out, he's gonna jump. So that fish was foul hooked, you guys. That's you can see that rod shaking around a little bit. Look right in the peck fin right there. That's what happened. All right, we're hooked up. Here we go. Drift number three, we're hooked up. Mike said he would bring in the second rod there. He said he might have a strike on it, so we're seeing if he can get a bite on there. You can get a bite? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All sudden, baby. All sudden, baby. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully this one stays on there. A little bit of luck, maybe Michael hooked that one back there. We got a mahi rod out, but no mahi yet. There's another boat here. They're hooked up fighting one. So let's see what happens, guys. Stay tuned. Appears like there might be tightness in the back here too. All right, you guys, we're hooked up to a double for the time being. A little luck will catch one, a lot of luck will catch both, and no luck will catch zero. He may be underneath this other line, you guys. If it is, we're gonna have to move it back yeah, here. Uh, Hopefully he's not, though. Yeah, it looks like he's over top of it. I think he's all right. Yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth, looks like. Little guy. Yeah, we're just guy. trying to tag him. Yeah. Where's the tag stick? Oh, beautiful little sword, you guys. Juvenile sword there, you guys. We're gonna try to get a tag in him, but we're gonna focus on this one in the back in case it's a big one, you know, you don't know. Perfect shot. Good shot, you guys. Beautiful fish. Oh, all right, there's tags in that one, you guys. We're back over here now on this one. Mahi swimming up lots of seaweed out here, you guys. Summertime's coming. The weed's kind of a pain when you're sore fishing gets in your line, but there's a lot of seaweed out here today. You can see giant patches over there. Lots of seaweed out here. Do you see any seaweed? Yeah. Yeah. It's on your rod, too. There we go. You want to leave this out for a second? Get another one on? Get in the action, Mario. There we go. We got some 6,500 and 7,500 size reels, spin fishers and battles, and pairing up with our 20 pound rod. That's vinegar. He'd go good on a fish sandwich, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, perfect right. sandwich size right there. 
Fire, but it's close. Close. Yep, go stand. Mahi mahi, you guys, things are looking up. Summer's coming. Oh, yeah, got him out. He's a, he's a little bigger, I think, than the last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jumper. Yeah. Jumper. Oh, he might have got a weak patch. Oh, boom, headshot. Bleedy bleed, headshot, bleedy bleed. Look at that, folks. Bleedy bleed. There you go. We only gapped the fish because we had a light leader, we didn't break the line, so. Mike got a good headshot on him. That one there might be undersized, yeah. we probably have to let him go. Yep. Yeah, Mike. I see one or two left, but it looks pretty small. He's coming over to your squid now, get ready, Ryan. Nah, they were good. The last couple look pretty small. That one there might be a keeper. Yeah. Now, my just got to be 20 inches of the fork of the tail, and these are what we call schoolies. These school size fish that school up and whatnot, and good eating, but good bait too. We're excited about that. So, we got both here now. Yeah. Right. I'm the shortest guy. I'm the shortest guy. The other one's like six, seven. A nice mahi to start the day out here, sword fishing. No bites yet, but I think we got a mahi on the flat line here. Get skunked. We didn't get skunked. Yeah. The skunk's off the boat. Yeah, we might have a group around. This could be us. This could be our dinner. Forget them. Oh, look at them shaking. Look at them shaking. Good morning, guys. We're out here on the X3. Eli's here. Lou's here. One of Sarah's uh, friends were going up. Jen's here with her daughter as well. You know, their family. They're at the house and we're out here fishing because it's such a pretty day. Mike's on the broad minded, running a trip on the 42 Freeman. We just put this out here, snag bottom the first drift, lost my new uh, lure, but uh, put them back out within two minutes, we got a bite. So fingers crossed as a grouper for dinner. There's definitely a fish on there. Yeah. Yeah, I just got shaking. Oh, yeah. Look at them, guys. Nice girl. Good boy. There he is. That's all right. Nice. Look at that, guys. Right. Got one for dinner. Black grouper, guys. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> We're on the board, Eli. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So we trawled the other day for like an hour and a half, didn't catch any. We were literally trawling for five minutes, and we just got a nice grouper there. What do you think, guys? Pretty cool? Yeah. You excited, dinner? Yeah. I know Lou's excited. I'm hungry. <laughs> we're all hungry. <laughs> so I thought we just had seaweed on the rod. We have some seaweed there, you can see it. But we're bringing in the bait, and we have a fish on here, you guys. And this is classic. This doesn't happen every day. I've never seen anything like this before. But this is what we just caught. We just snagged that little guy trolling there. And I mean, that doesn't happen every day. So I don't know if that's ever happened to you or not, but I mean, that right there, that's classic. That don't get no better. Fish hate a ballyhoo and a feather. Nice 90 uh, VMC in them. But I mean, that's good stuff right there, you guys. That's proper. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. Daddy. I had fun though. Wave. Daddy, say hi. Say hi. So we got the one grouper the first five minutes of fishing. And after that, we got one little shark and three more hours of fishing. So that's fishing. 
But we're at Alligator Lighthouse hanging out. There's a barracuda swimming by. Lots of boats here today. Absolutely gorgeous day in Almorada. Kids are jumping around. This video is a little bit of everything, you know, so covering a lot of days the last couple of months. It's Traeger Day. We came out, what is it, May 14th? May 14th here. No fish in the back. But Lou is hooked up up here with hopefully one more for dinner. This setup here is a Pen Fathom, one of our 20 pound rods, light braid, and there's some BMC hooks and some squid for bait. Moved out deep right here, 548 feet of water, 551. Lou, this could be your dinner. What do you think it is? It's a grouper. You got a feeling. Snowy or yellow edge? Yellow edge. Your ladder or tile? Let's go find out. Hi. Hey, you got a nice tile. Oh, nice. Nice. Perfect. Fun fact that you probably don't know, Sam introduced me to Sarah. Yes, I'm the reason for the two of them. It looks like a nice tile. Tile. Nice tile. Oh, oh yeah. Broke the rig. That's a big tile there. Look at that. Woo! That's a 7 8 pounder there. That's an 8 pounder right there. Good job. Yeah. The rig broke. A shark might have ate the other. It ate felt like it tugged for a minute there, there and it went there. down, down. Look at that. Maybe I had two on. My head. That's a full growing tile there. That's a real one. Beautiful. Green turtles. Whoops. Bye bye, buddies. Sorry, that was Sarah. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. And if you guys want a chance to win some merch, head over to the website, stancefishing.com slash giveaway. We're giving away three apparel packs, a couple shirts and a hat, three different winners, and uh, it's free to sign up, so it just takes a minute. Hopefully you guys will do that. And that's all we got for you, so hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Come on down here to Almorada, check it out. Hopefully we'll see you down here at Bud and Mary's Marina. And uh, we're out for tonight, so stay tuned. We got more episodes coming your way.